सर्वांगासना सायकल नंबर 1 सलंबा सर्वांगासना 1 लाय फ्लॅट ऑन द बॅक कीपिंग द लेग्स स्ट्रेचड आउट टाइटेंड ॲट द नीज प्लेस द हँड्स बाय द साइड ऑफ द लेग्स पाम्स डाउन एक्झेल and at the same time raise both the legs and bring them at the right angle to the body remain in this pose and inhale keeping the legs steady exhale again raise the legs further up by lifting the hips and back from the floor pressing the palms gently against the floor when the whole trunk is raised above the ground bend the elbows and place the palms on the back of the ribs resting the shoulders well on the floor the elbows should not be placed wider than the shoulders try and stretch the shoulders away from the neck and also to bring the elbows close to each other only the back of the head and neck the shoulders and the upper portion of the arms up to the elbows should rest well on the floor remain in this pose for 5 minutes to 6 minutes continuous practice of salamba sarvangasana 1 eradicates common coids and other nasal disturbances this asan is recommended for urinary disorders menstrual disorders piles and hernia release the hands slide down to the floor lie flat and relax number 2 is salamba sarvangasana 2 perform salamba sarvangasana 1 release the hands from the back of the trunk interlock the fingers turn the wrist and extend the arms the thumbs will then touch the floor and the palms will face outwards the head will be on one side of the vertically extended body and the arms will be on the other side keep the legs and back as steady as possible remain in this pose for some time salamba sarvangasana 2 calms the brain and helps relieve stress and mild depression also improves digestion stretches the shoulders and neck relax lower the legs lie flat on the floor in shavasana and relax for some time nirlamba sarvangasana 1 perform salamba sarvangasana 1 
release the hands bring them over the head rest the extended arms on the floor on the same side of the vertical body as the head and balance maintain the pose for a minute by practicing these various sarvangasana cycles the entire body is toned by an increase in the flow of the blood relax lower the legs lie flat on the mat in shavasana and relax number 4 is niralamba sarvangasana 2 perform niralamba sarvangasana 1 raise the hands and place the palms on or by the side of the knees do not rest the legs on the palms stay in this pose for a minute or two niralamba sarvangasana is an advanced balancing inversion requires flexibility in the shoulders and neck while stimulating the thyroid gland in addition to improving balance move into salamba sarvangasana 1 for some time and then relax lower the legs lie down in shavasana Number 5 is Halasana. Perform Niralamba Sarvangasana 1. Release the chin lock. Lower the trunk slightly. moving the arms and legs over the head and resting the toes on the floor tighten the knees by pulling up the hamstring muscles at the back of the thighs and raise the trunk place the hands in the middle of the back and press it to keep the trunk perpendicular to the floor stretch the arms on the floor in the direction opposite to that of the legs hook the thumbs and stretch the arms and legs interlock the fingers and turn the wrist so that the thumbs rest on the floor stretch the palms along with the fingers tighten the arms at the elbows and pull them from the shoulders the legs and the hands are stretched in opposite direction and this stretch the spine completely remain in this pose for a minute or two The effect of halasana is the same as that of sarvangasana 1. In addition, the abdominal organs are regenerated due to the contraction. 
This asana is good for people with a tendency of high blood pressure. Relax. Lower the legs. And lie down in Shavasana. Relax for a while. People suffering from high blood pressure, the following technique is recommended for doing Halasana. Before they attempt Salamba Sarvangasana 1. Lie flat on the back. Exhale. Slowly raise the legs to a perpendicular position and stay there breathing normally for about 10 seconds. Exhale. Bring the legs over and beyond the head and touch the toes on the floor. Keep the toes on the floor and the legs stiff at the knees. If you have difficulty in keeping the toes on the floor, then place a chair or stool behind the head and rest the toes on it. If the breathing becomes heavy or fast, do not rest the toes on the floor, but on the stool or chair. Extend the arms over the head. Keep them on the floor and stay in this pose with normal and even breathing for 30 seconds to a minute. This asan strengthens and opens up the neck, shoulders, abs and back muscles, calms the nervous system, reduces stress. Throughout this asan, gaze at the tip of the nose with the eyes shut. Relax. Lie down in Shavasana. Number 6 is Karna Ped Asana 1. Perform Halasana. After completing the time limit for that pose, flex the knees and rest the right knee by the side of the right ear and the left knee by the side of the left ear. Both the knees should rest on the floor, pressing the ears. Keep the toes stretched out and join the heels and toes. Rest the hands either on the back of the ribs or interlock the fingers and stretch out the arms as in Halasana. Remain in this pose for half a minute to a minute with normal breathing. Karna Pidasana stretches and strengthens your backbone, gives strength to the lungs and also beneficial for asthma patients, controls hypertension and stretches and stimulates the abdominal organs and thyroid glands. Relax. Slide down to the mat 
and relax for a while. Number 7. Supta Kon Asana. Perform Karna Pidasana. From Karna Pidasana, stretch the legs straight and Spread the legs as far apart as you can. Pull the trunk up and tighten the knees. Hold the right toe with the right hand and the left toe with the left hand. Keep the heels up. After gripping the toes, move the dorsal region of the spine still further up and extend the hamstring muscles stay in this pose for 20 to 30 seconds with normal and even breathing this asan tones the legs and helps to contract the abdominal organs relax Go back to Karnapidasana and then slide down to the mat and relax for a while. Number 8 is Parshva Halasana. Perform Supta Konasana. Now come back to Halasana, place the palms on the back of the ribs, move both the legs as far as you can to the left, tighten both the knees, raise the trunk up with the help of the palms and stretch the legs. Remain in this pose for half a minute with normal and even breathing. In this asana, the spine moves laterally and becomes more elastic. The colon, which is inverted during the movements, is exercised properly and eliminate will be complete. Exhale. Move the legs to the right until they are in line with the head and hold the pose for half a minute. Do not disturb the position of the chest and the trunk when the legs are moving. The chest and the trunk should remain as in Sarvangasana or Halasana. This asana also helps us to keep the boils free and thereby win the prize of health. Come back to Halasana. Relax. Slide the legs to the mat and lie down in Shavasana. Ek Pada Sarvangasana Perform Salamba Sarvangasana 1 
Now keep the right leg up in Sarvangasana. Exhale and move the left leg down to the floor as in Halasana. It should remain stiff and straight. Do not bend at the knees. While resting the left leg on the floor, the right knee should be kept taut and not allowed to tilt sideways. Stay in the pose for 20 to 30 seconds, maintaining normal breath. Exhale, lift the left leg back to Sarvangasana and then move the right leg down to the floor as in Halasana, keeping the left leg vertically up and stiff. This asan tones the kidneys and the leg muscles. Lifting the leg from the floor back to Sarvangasana exercises the abdominal organs more than if one brings both the legs down to Halasana. Come back to Salamba Sarvangasana 1. Stay for some time in this pose and then relax. Lie down in Shavasana. Parshve ka pada sarvang asana. Perform ek pada sarvang asana. Now come back to Sarvangasana. Exhale, move the left leg down sideways to the floor until it is in line with the trunk. Keep the left leg straight and stiff and do not bend it at the knees. The right leg which is vertically up should be kept straight and not allowed to tilt to the left. The ribs should be lifted with the palms to expand the chest fully. Remain in this pose for 20 seconds with normal and even breathing. Exhale. Go back to Sarvangasana and repeat the pose with the other leg for the same length of time. This asan tones the kidneys and relieves constipation. Relax, go back to Sarvangasana 1 and then lower the legs. Lie down in Shavasana. Parshva Sarvangasana Perform Salamba Sarvangasana 1 Now turn the trunk and the legs to the right. Place the right palm on the right hip. 
so that the cockex rest on the wrist. Lower the body on the right hand and bear the weight of the body on the right elbow and wrist. The right palm remains as in Sarvangasana on the back dorsal region. Move the legs over the right palm at an angle. Stay in this pose for 20 seconds, breathing normally and deeply. Breathe out. Come back to Salamba Sarvangasana 1 and repeat the pose on the left side for the same length of time. This asan strengthens the wrist. It also exercises the liver, pancreas and spleen and ensures a generous blood supply to these organs are thereby kept in a healthy condition. Relax. Lower the legs. Slide to the mat. And lie down in Shavasana. Setu Bandha Sarvang Asana. Perform Salamba Sarvang Asana 1. Now, rest the palms well on the back, raise the spine up, take the legs back straight or bend the knees and throw the legs back over the wrist to the floor. Stretch out the legs and keep them together. The whole body forms a bridge, the weight of which is boom by the elbows and the wrist. The only parts of the body in contact with the ground will be the back of the head, neck, shoulders, elbows and the feet. Stay in the pose for half a minute to a minute with normal and even breathing. This asan gives the spine a backward movement and removes the strain on the neck caused by other various movements of Sarvangasana. Slowly relax. Go back to Salamba Sarvangasana 1 and then slide down to the mat. Lie down in Shavasana. Ek Pada Setu Bandha Sarvang Asana. Perform Setu Bandha Sarvang Asana. After staying in Setu Bandha Sarvangasana, exhale and lift the left leg up to a perpendicular position. Stretch both the legs fully and hold the pose for 10 seconds. Inhale. This asana gives the spine a backward movement and is good for the mental health. Also relieves anxiety 
and improves mental focus bring the left leg to the floor breathe out and then lift the right leg to the perpendicular position and stretch out both the legs fully stay for the same length of time and then relax go back to salamba sarvangasana 1 and then slide down to the mat relax for a while in shavasana urdhva padmasana in sarvangasana perform salamba sarvangasana 1 from salamba sarvangasana 1 bend the legs at the knees and cross them first place the right foot over the left thigh and then the left foot over the right thigh stretch the crossed legs vertically up move the knees closer to each other and the legs as far back as possible from the pelvic region stay in this pose for 20 to 30 seconds with deep and even breathing to increase the stretch perform the pose by giving the trunk a lateral twist following the techniques of parshva sarvangasana This pose is called Parshva Urdhva Padmasana in Sarvangasana. Stay in this pose for 10 to 15 seconds with normal and even breathing. Exhale. Come back to Urdhva Padmasana and rest for a while. Then perform on the other side. for the same length of time exhale now arch the trunk back following the techniques of setu bandha sarvang asana gradually stretch the thighs back until the knees rest on the floor forming a bridge over the hands this pose is called uttana padma mayur asana stay in this pose for 10 seconds with normal and even breathing relax lie down in shavasana and relax for a while pindasana in sarvangasana perform urdhva padmasana in sarvangasana from urdhva padmasana exhale bend and lower the crossed legs from the hips towards the head rest the legs over the head 
release the hands from the back and clasp the legs while clasping the legs move the trunk nearer to the neck to rest the legs well remain in this pose for 20 to 30 seconds with normal and even breathing pindasana helps open and activate the following chakras crown chakra throat chakra and solar plexus go back to urdhva padmasana in sarvangasana and then relax lie down in shavasana parshva pindasana in sarvangasana perform pindasana Now after releasing the hands clap from pindasana bring the hands back and place the palms at the back of the ribs turn the hips sideways to the right exhale and lower both the knees to the floor the left knee should be by the side of the right ear the left shoulder will be raised above the floor in the beginning push the shoulder against the floor and press the left hand firmly against the back stay in this pose for 10 to 20 seconds with normal and even breathing exhale come up from the right side and move the crossed legs over to the left so that the left foot will be near to the left ear stay here also for the same length of time Parshva Pindasana in Sarvangasana benefit arms shoulders middle back hips and the neck the spine is given forward lateral and backward movements in these variations of Sarvangasana in Halasana Ekpada Sarvangasana Karna Pindasana and Pindasana the spine moves in the forward direction for those suffering from chronic constipation a longer stay in parshva pindasana is recommended relax go back to urdhva padmasana in sarvangasana Release the lotus pose by uncrossing the legs and return to Salamba Sarvangasana 1 and then relax Lie down in Shavasana